everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I really wanted to film a quick video, a little skin update, a little update on all things to do with skin. I've written myself a list of the top 8 things I'm doing right now to try and clear my skin, which I'm just going to talk through, show you what I'm doing, take you step by step, in the hopes that hopefully some of these things can help anyone who's currently struggling with skin things. This camera doesn't really do it justice, but my skin isn't to the point that I want it just yet. However, looking back at photos from even a few months ago, it's definitely improved a lot. I'm not getting as many pimples anymore. I'm just like kind of, I've got lots of remnants of old ones. Some are just your generic things that you may have heard before, but just kind of need to be reminded because I always like hear this and I'm like, you know, go, but actually never do it. And they actually work surprisingly. Anyway, getting into it. The first thing I've been doing, the first thing that I wanted to talk about was taking supplements. Before actually getting into it, I did just want to say that I don't believe in exactly just like taking all these pills and taking all these things to heal yourself or put a band-aid over or whatever, but there's specific um, natural supplements that I've been taking recently, like herbs and natural probiotics and all of that, which I will go get. Obviously, this is just what's working for me. This is what my naturopath has given me. So do take everything that I'm saying with a grain of salt because it might not work for you and it might not work for everyone. However, the first thing I've actually talked about before, but I'm still taking and it is just this Defense Complete. It's got so much good stuff in it. Zinc and B vitamins and vitamin C and a lot of really good stuff in here. I'm actually, as you can probably hear, almost done. So I'm gonna need to get some more of them. And I have been kind of slack with these lately, but I generally have one in the night and one in the morning. Next thing is just this herbal mixture, which has got St. Mary's, burdock, licorice, and saw palmento. And I've also been taking this every morning and every night. Next is just this elemental multi-trace, and it's just for minerals and everything like that. I've also been taking this probiotic, which is just one a day, the morning first thing I do when I wake up. And then lastly, I actually, this isn't from my naturopath, but I just have been seeing it heaps on social media, it is this JS Health Hair and Energy Capsule Vitamin. Um, sorry, that is my dog barking. And it is for hair and energy, but it's got so much goodness in it that it actually does help skin as well. And if you would like to know anything about it, then I can link um, her website in the description. But things like iodine, kelp, all of that's really, really good for your, just your overall health. Obviously, hair and energy as well. And I do feel like it's actually helping with my skin as well. So that is the last thing that I'm taking the moment. So that is all. It's not like a lot, but it's a decent amount. And um, I'm still trying to, you know, play around with things as well. But at the moment, that seems to be doing good things. It's definitely something that you've also just got to be patient with, which is annoying because I'm not a patient person whatsoever. But I've heard that it takes at least two months to be able to really see any results with stuff like this as well. So it's all about just doing all the things now so then hopefully in the future they'll all start paying off. The next thing I've been doing which I'm not going to spend long talking about because it's something that's been said so many times and every single time I hear it I'm like shush. But it is drinking a lot of water. I know. I, I always said that I wouldn't be one of these people that goes oh just drink more water and it'll clear your skin up but it honestly it doesn't clear your skin. Drinking water does not clear your skin okay I'm just gonna say it here. However it does improve the quality of your skin. My skin has just been a lot more glowy recently. Even if I do have pimples on it, it looks more glowy or dewy and just like moisturized. I've been aiming for four liters a day actually. Pretty sure what you've got to do is take your body weight and then every 20 kilos is a liter of water that you should be drinking every day, which would have me sitting at around like 2.8 liters a day but with exercise and everything as well um, I just like to bump it up and drinking four liters a day has really helped with my energy I think I've only had two liters so far today and I just feel really dehydrated and before in the past I have gone like all day with a glass of water like a little glass of water and I wouldn't even feel it so it's crazy what your body gets used to next thing I've been doing to clear my skin is drinking herbal teas so things like green tea peppermint tea really like especially peppermint tea just settles the digestion I've also been drinking licorice teas as well which are really good for skin teas with lemon balm are really really good for your skin as well and also milk thistle which I've recently been getting into I'm not sure if I've, I don't actually have the packet anymore because I've run out but it's I'll put it up on the screen here it's like it's called the mermaid latte and it's basically like this loose brilliant drink um, but it's got the one I have actually has like licorice and chicory root and milk thistle and everything in it and that is really 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 good for your skin um so i really really recommend just getting into some herbal teas I always forget this but whenever i have herbal teas it really just improves my skin so 
I don't know, I think my body just likes that sense of warmth and also what I'm having as well. Okay, sorry if the lighting has changed slightly, but my camera just ran out of charge. But resuming what I was saying, the next thing I have been doing is changing my pillows and towels of every few days, I want to say. Towels probably every three to four days, um, just because I'm, you know, constantly drying my skin. Just feel like the less bacteria and the less usage it has, I just feel like it's cleaner and it's not going to break me out. Um, also definitely pillows as well. I usually like to do, so I have, I'll show you. <laughs> I have my two main pillows in my bed and I sleep one night on each side. Like if that makes sense, I'll do like one, two, three, four kind of thing. Also my hands are red from my hair, like it's still coming off. Um, anyway, obviously the oils on your skin are always getting onto your pillows. So um, I like to not really sleep for longer than two nights on one side. Next thing I've also been noticing is washing my hair, which I mean, it sounds silly. I generally wash my hair once a week. However, sometimes I go a little bit longer and also just wear hairstyles that have my hair sitting like on my face kind of thing. And I find that I actually break out along my cheeks when I have dirty hair that is also being like worn over my face kind of thing. Obviously because the oils in your hair are going onto your skin and kind of like congesting it all up. So if your hair is not clean, make sure to just wear it up or just like out of your face. And also just for sleeping, if you're sleeping with your hair down and then it's like pressing onto your face the whole time, it just, I just find it like breaks me out a lot more. So making sure that you're either washing your hair and keeping it clean or just keeping it off out of your face when it is that little bit due for a wash. The next thing I'm going to be talking about is diet and what I've been eating because obviously that plays probably the biggest role in your skin, I want to say. I do follow a plant-based diet, so I mean, it's nothing really out of the ordinary for me to be following this um, and eating this way. However, I have been massively upping in the amount of healthy fats I've been eating. So in every meal, I like to get some sort of healthy fat in, whether that's from avocado. I've been loving avocados in smoothies and avocados in salads and really anything. I just, I'm obsessed with avocado at the moment. Things like nuts and seeds, hemp seeds, I've been putting on my salad salads and sesame seeds and then I've also been having things like walnuts and even in my granola that I've been making my past couple videos if you've seen them um it's filled with lots of healthy fats so nuts and seeds I just feel like my skin thrives off healthy fats so I've been really trying to implement that into my diet a lot um things like tahini things like that really I've just been trying to have daily and I've definitely noticed a difference in my skin I just feel like my body really really thrives off them everyone might not be the same but um yeah, I've just been noticing lately how much they have been helping. Next thing I've been doing is more topical. So I've been doing face masks probably once a week. And I've also actually been getting some light treatments. So infrared light and blue light on my skin. I've only had a couple of treatments so far and I will keep you updated on how it all goes. And after a while, if it is really helping, then I would definitely recommend it. But that is just something that I'm currently doing. But other than that, also just the weekly face mask. Pink clay face masks I've been using quite a lot because they really draw out any impurities. I always know that if you've got some sort of event or something that you like want clear skin for, do it probably like six days before because I find the next kind of two to three days after doing those face masks, your skin, it just kind of draws all of the pimples out. So if you're gonna be doing stuff like that, make sure that you don't have any big events in the next couple of days. I saw this quote the other day and it was something along the lines of when you're doing facials or when you're doing face masks or something like that, it's like having a PT training session with someone. Like it's just that extra thing that you can do to make your body that much better, your skin that much better. It's not essential to go have a training session with a PT, but it just helps that much more and it makes that much more of a difference. So I liked that and I kind of felt like, yeah, as much as a PT session isn't going to make you the fittest that you could ever be, just like doing a face mask isn't going to completely clear your skin, but it's just going to make that a little bit more of a difference. And the last thing that I've been doing recently is also still along the lines of skincare and it is using these fresh face skin products, which I actually talked about in my nighttime skin routine, which I can link below if you'd like to go check that out. If you saw one of my Melbourne vlogs, you would have seen that me and my friend Georgia both got these. I've definitely noticed a difference in the quality of my skin after using these. I've got the Overnight Healer and the Overnight Soother. So I put these on overnight, obviously, especially with my pimples around my cheeks. Um, I feel like it's just really, really helped with that. You literally use the smallest amount and it goes so, so far. I really, really, really recommend these. I will link them in the description bar if 
he would like to go check them out. Um, also, I met at one of the events that I actually bought this at. Um, I met the owner and she is so, so lovely. So it feels really good just supporting her and the message behind her company is really, really good as well. But yeah, that is what I'm currently doing. I just wanted to share if anyone else is going along this clearing skin mission with me or just is interested um, in what I am trying to do to clear my skin. Anyway, I'm just kind of trying to amp myself up to go to the gym because I did the silly thing of waiting to the point of the day where you're tired and you could go just go, mm, I mean, I've got things to do around the house. Maybe I just shouldn't go. So I'm gonna go to the gym. Have a good sesh. Actually, another thing, maybe it's nine tips. <laughs> Sweating and just getting all that sweat out. Also, I feel like it's been helping my skin as well. And my camera battery is now flashing, so I'm gonna really, really quickly finish this. Give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. I post videos every Tuesday and every Friday if you'd like to subscribe for more, and I will see you in my next video. Bye! <laughs>